Hey, my ladies and my gents. I'm Stephen Tosher, and this is my. Hey, my wife. Um, Fine, thanks. Yeah. I've had the greatest. You no. know, I've had an injury. I fell over on the sidewalk. Let's see the shiner. That's what yeah. I was talking about when I'm in season two. That's yeah. how mom she hit her head on the sidewalk. We're gonna go into a tight shot now. I'm gonna break down each of these foods at 500 calories, and it's kind of interesting. I didn't mean to do this. I'm, I'm not kidding. All these. Aside from the dyed pop here, all of them have a very brownish texture, uh, which is kind of grainy, which is, and it's, it's, it's interesting how that worked out. So I'm just going to go into the tight shot now. Here we have four strips of uncooked bacon. The reason why I chose uh, it uncooked is because some people barely like it to touch the pan, others love it crispy as anything, but I wanted to show you it in its basically rawest form in its natural state so that before you cook it, you see what 500 calories looks like. Here are two large glasses of pop. This is the highest amount of calories per pop that I could find. And uh, just think of it this way. This is the average medium to large at most fast food joints. And most people will have one or two glasses of pop in a sitting if they do end up going for uh, a sugary drink. So remember, this being uh, about one-third, uh, anywhere to one-quarter, even a half of your calorie intake for the day, be careful with uh, your pop. Two pieces of fried chicken. Now, if these pieces of chicken did not have the batter on them with the oil, you're looking at 200 calories and you're looking at very good lean fats. You add on that batter, you add on the, you know, the, the uh, oil and you deep fry it, you, you, uh, you 2.5 it. Right, and you jump up to the five. Here, and this is probably the most shocking, is salad dressings can go anywhere, especially dressings on your salad, from around this size, which is a, around 100 grams, from, let's say, 60 calories all the way up to 500 calories in this same little jar. So be very careful. This is a extra creamy four cheese, and this one is riding at almost 100 calories per tea, uh, tablespoon. All right, I wanted to show you uh, dry spaghetti versus the cooked spaghetti because this can be a frustrating point. So as you can see, the dry spaghetti here, all right, this is it before it gets cooked, before the water gets into it. So don't uh, look at the package and go for like, let's say 85 grams, which would be around 300 calories and measure this. Measure uh, in, in its raw form because when it boils it does get bigger so I'm not saying spaghetti is bad for you I'm just saying be careful with it but you know what when you see TV shows and you you see people on commercials you see them having this much that's a lot of that you know it doesn't seem like a lot of spaghetti but that's a lot of calories so be very very careful here we have two glasses of dark chocolate milk now even though they look smaller than the cups of pop they have a lot less sugar. However, the chocolate milk is more dense and has more protein. So this is around 500 calories of the dark chocolate milk. Over here we have a strudel. If you cut it into five individual slices here, you'd get around 500 calories. Now this is the average pastry. I know, you know, I know people might be like, okay, well, you know, we expected that. I just kind of wanted to throw in something of, of this size, especially when you go to a donut shop and you get a little piece of a strudel. Be careful. That's when you probably would want to have something like a green tea or a tea without sugar to complement something that is going to be a lot of calories or you know just something that you want to have as a snack and finally cheesecake now cheesecake can be extremely deceptive you can have a cheesecake uh, piece around this size I'll show you my hand my hands a little bit bigger than the average person's hand but you, you know you're looking at around three inches uh, in each of the triangle uh, di direction about an inch and a half up I've seen cheesecake slices that are as little as 200 calories this is in particular with the toppings and with the sugars and with the nuts is at 500 calories but I've seen them go as high as 1200 calories for the same serving size all right mom so now that we're living with this word Moderation. which is a daily thing for us now which of these foods that we used to have consistently maybe even almost once or twice a week would you uh, cut down on the most you think I'd say I'd cut down on the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to have a lot of it, and I find that uh, it has way too much calories. Okay. 
have your spaghetti. It's just a, a moderate portion mm -hmm. with um, a good amount of sauce. And mm -hmm. yeah, it should be good. Sure. Yeah, and? and the pop, I find there's not a whole lot of nutritional value in it. It's packed with sugar, which is not really good. It also sucks the calcium out of your bones as well. Yeah. It's, it's not really that great for you. It's kind of the opposite of what the chocolate milk is. Yeah. Uh, in these uh, two cups here, which is still the 500 calories approximately, you're still looking at around 40 grams of protein in here. You're still going to get calcium. Uh, but remember, you know, if you're lactose, there's tons of different uh, uh, substitutes you can get with protein. There's almond milk, there's soy milk. And just remember that even though you may not feel like a an instant bloating or pain you might still have allergies to different foods yes so, yes i was going to say that oh were sure. you yeah I was okay say that. and you know you just got to actually you know take the time to even test certain things so like if you have the opportunity to kind of go without dairy for a week or something like that try it out you may see like a, a rash or something that was bothering you or hurting you yeah. for a little while. It might get eradicated out of your diet. All right, so hopefully this helped out. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comment section below. If you want to check out the website, it'll be in the description. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day, evening. Morning, or night. God bless. bless. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet. Tumble. Like. Share. Thumbs up. Plus. Pin. Or do whatever you do, and please, subscribe.